Now, we've talked a lot about short selling in the past week in relation to US-based Hindenburg's position in Adani. But other headline-grabbing instances include Michael Berry, who bet against the US housing market ahead of the global financial crisis. That was the premise for the movie The Big Short. So what exactly is short selling? Well, it's a strategy that allows traders to profit by betting that the price of an asset will fall. It's commonly done with stocks, but can be done with debt and cryptocurrencies as well. Short sellers can be individuals or active fund managers. Typically, an investor will borrow shares in the market to sell. They'll then buy them back when the price of a stock falls, allowing the investor to profit. Short sellers have to post collateral, borrow the shares, and pay loan fees until they return the stock. So you can see how it's a high-risk, high-reward trading strategy. What happens if the stock price doesn't fall? Well, this prompts something known as a short squeeze when many investors bet against the price of a stock, but it surges instead. As it gains momentum, it can prompt short sellers to cut losses and exit their positions. And that's what happened in the GameStop short squeeze in 2021. Hedge funds had bet that shares would fall as the video game retailer faced competition and a decline in foot traffic. But retail investors, especially those active on Reddit, banded together to buy the stock. Hedge funds eventually lost billions as they scrambled to cover their bets.